Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football, continuing our deep dive into this Colorado program, heading into spring practice in the 2024 season. We took a look at the offensive line, the defensive line, the offensive skill positions. Now we're taking a look at the back end of this Colorado defense. That is one of those units that I'm extremely excited about what this unit is going to look like. In 2024, you go back to the 2023 film. Yeah, you for sure saw some growing pains. Those growing pains made a lot of sense for a lot of different reasons. There were a ton of new faces in that Colorado secondary that have never played together heading into that 2023 season. You take a look at what they have coming back in 2024. These guys are all going into year two together. I think you're going to see a unit that we know is extremely talented. I think you're going to see that unit gel a little bit better than you saw in 2023. And with the addition of Robert Livingston coming from the NFL ranks, there is a lot of different ways this secondary can look. You have a lot of versatile athletes in the back end that we're going to talk about, and you're putting an NFL mind kind of running this defense in the back end. And that's really what excites me. I think this unit has a ton of potential heading into that 2024 year. I want to get into some of the names that we're going to be talking about. Before we do, just want to say thank you to you guys. And it has been a blast covering this program, not only in the transfer portal, but doing these deep dives, going back, evaluating some of that 2023 film. I'm having a blast doing it. Cannot thank the Colorado fans for all the support you guys continue to show to the boys. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And more importantly, would love to hear how you think this back end of this defense shakes out. I learned a ton from you guys in the comment section. Again, the best part about doing this is talking ball with y'all down there. And without further ado, Let's get into this one. And I, when you take a look at the Colorado secondary, it starts with Travis Hunter, who I think is getting undersold. I don't know if that's possible, but undersold as a defensive back at the college football level. I think a lot of college football fans saw that one, what, Thursday night game against Stanford where Travis Hunter clearly struggled coming back from injury and kind of wrote him off as a cornerback. You go back and watch the rest of the film for Travis Hunter – largely phenomenal. There's not many Travis Hunters that we've seen the last couple of decades in college football in terms of the length, in terms of the twitch, in terms of the movement skills. You take a look at Travis Hunter's year, 53 targets, only gave up 30 receptions, a 56% completion percentage when targeted. And to kind of highlight that, when Travis Hunter was often obviously playing both ways, but more importantly, following the best wide receiver on the opposing team. And for Travis Hunter, to play like he did, playing both ways, and also kind of, and that's a it's a lost art. Like there are not many cornerbacks at the college football level that follow the wide receiver one on the opposing team. Travis Hunter largely did that. Now I think that's really exciting for Colorado fans heading into that 2024 year. Travis Hunter bona fide stud. I don't think I'm saying anything breaking news there. Second guy I want to talk about in a really exciting player, one of the more exciting players heading into 2024, and that's Kermani McLean. Yes, you saw some growing pains for the true freshman in 2023. Needs to clean up the tackling. But Kermani McLean coming out of high school, we kind of saw some of those growing pains. This was a, a really talented athlete coming from the state of Florida. But you know he was a little bit undersized, needed to put some weight on. And he was a little bit of a raw player. And you saw Coach Prime kind of – he was tough on him. But you saw towards the end of the year, he started the last three games of the season. Kermani McLean, I think, is – kind of in position to make a massive jump heading into that 2024 year. And you talk about Travis Hunter, Kermani McLean potentially being your top two cornerbacks in this defense. It suddenly gets a lot easier to scheme a defense when you are confident that you have two boundary cornerbacks that can handle themselves on the outside. Now, I wouldn't count out one of my favorite transfers that Colorado brought in, and that's DJ McKinney. Coming from Oklahoma State, this is another boundary cornerback. So you start talking about what the boundary cornerback position looks like. Travis Hunter, Cormani McLean, Amari and Cooper played some solid ball for Colorado. And then you have DJ McKinney entering in the mix, 6'2", 190 pounds, faced 49 targets last year in the Big 12, only gave up 22 catches, a 44% completion percentage when targeted. He is long. He is an aggressive defensive back. And with that aggression – comes giving some big plays up. He gave up 20 yards per catch in that 2023 season. But this is a guy that you talk about. And I think the whole narrative that we've talked about with this Colorado program is 
competitive competition. Like you have to be great if you want to play for this Colorado program in the back end of this defense because you're going up against Travis Hunter, Kermani McLean, DJ McKinney, Amari and Cooper. Those four guys are very quality cornerbacks at the college football level. And whoever emerges as that top two, you feel comfortable about the two boundary cornerbacks for this Colorado defense heading into that 2024 year. Last guy I want to talk about at that cornerback position and another really good get in the transfer portal, Preston Hodge coming over from Liberty. I think Preston Hodge comes in and plays that nickel role. So you're talking about you got four guys on the boundary that are competing for two spots. And I'm penciling in Preston Hodge to start at that nickel role. Going back and watching some film on Preston Hodge, two things really uh, really jump out. One is his quick twitch, his ability to just stay in slot receivers, hit pockets, break on the football is extremely evident. He had 11 forced incompletions, almost 10 pass breakups. This is a guy that is twitchy, gets his hands on footballs, most importantly, in a problem that you saw with this Colorado defense, Preston Hodge comes up and tackles. And when you're looking at evaluating that nickel role, you are playing around the line of scrimmage. You are essentially that third linebacker that is more kind of having more coverage responsibility. But if you are going to play that nickel role, you have to come up and tackle and be physical in the box. Preston Hodge only missed 9% of his tackles last year at Liberty, really was that best player on Liberty's defense last year, took 457 snaps from that nickel roll. If you're asking me how this Colorado cornerback room shakes out, I'm probably going Travis Hunter, Cormani McClain with DJ McKinney as a kind of very close third cornerback, and then Preston Hodge playing that nickel roll. That is a very, very strong cornerback group for Colorado. Now moving into the back end, it starts with Shiloh Sanders, and he is you, – You can when you watch the film for Colorado, you can tell he is the leader of this defense. He is the communicator of this defense. Coach Prime, when Shiloh Sanders got banged up and was forced to miss some games, kind of said, not having Shiloh out there, not only are you missing a very quality safety, you are missing the leader and the captain of that defense. Shiloh Sanders, extremely versatile. He's a guy that took – this is why – 177 snaps as a box safety – 212 playing that slot role, 359 playing that free safety, that deep safety role. They use Shiloh Sanders all over the field. He's an enforcer in the middle of the field. He has very good instincts, kind of like his pops in terms of getting his hands on the football. Shiloh Sanders going into year two of this defense, I am really excited. Kind of largely what I'm talking about is largely excited about this whole secondary room just coming back for another year, having that communication, that chemistry that you didn't really see in 2023. And then we go add guys like DJ McKinney and Preston Hodge. Other guy I want to talk about at that safety spot that I'm kind of waiting to break out is Miles Slusher, the Arkansas transfer from last year. A guy that I had penciled in starting for this Colorado team in 2023, battled some injuries. A healthy Miles Slusher was one of the better nickel safeties in, in, in our, at Arkansas in the SEC in 2022. I think he can be great as maybe a box safety or just a deep safety for Colorado in 2024. I would throw in a guy like Cameron Salmon Craig. You got a lot of different options in the back end of that defense. And again, that similar conversation of competitive depth. If you want to play, if you want to start for this Colorado defense, specifically in the back end, you're going to have to be great. And so you look at that Colorado secondary group and you're saying, this is a group that pretty much the whole unit coming back for year two in 2024, injecting some more talent in that position group. It's hard not to get excited about what this unit can do. And with that versatility and Robert Livingston taking over this defense, those NFL minded coaches, they want to give a lot of different looks. They want to give a lot of different coverage and blitz packages. When you have the amount of versatility and the amount of kind of flexibility in your personnel that Colorado does in the back end. I think that really fits what Robert Livingston is going to want to do for this defense. I want to quickly touch on the linebackers as well. My biggest take on the linebackers after watching some film in 2023, this linebacker room is going to play better just because the defensive line got better. You saw last year, the defensive line just Getting moved off the ball, it really put the linebackers in really tough spots. Offensive linemen were routinely working up to the second level, getting contact with linebackers, kind of 
preventing those linebackers to play free and to be playmakers. If this Colorado defensive line, which we all think it's going to take a step in the right direction, gets better, you're just going to see these linebackers play better. A couple guys that I want to highlight, Trevor Woods, moving down from that safety role to that linebacker role. I really like that move. Now, making that switch in the middle of the season, I think was tough for Trevor Woods. But that being said, I like that fit because he was a physical safety that liked to play in the box. Now you're just taking a safety. You're going to put some weight on him during these offseason workouts, and you're going to stick him at linebacker, a guy that you feel comfortable operating in space, covering running backs and tight ends. I like Trevor Woods making that move. And then Levante Bentley, he's another guy that I think was very solid for Colorado in 2023. Levante Bentley behind a better defensive line in 2024. I think you're going to see a massive step for him in the right direction as well. Throwing a guy like Demoy Kennedy, who has all the traits to be an extremely exciting linebacker, I think the narrative is. Like there's a, we just went through about 15 players that we feel really comfortable with Colorado starting that competitive depth. This roster is in a much better spot. You take a second to appreciate where this roster is right now versus 24 months ago before Coach Prime walked in that building. It is night and day. The talent is changing. I think this unit is going to look a lot cleaner, having a lot of those guys play together in 2023. Really excited about this defense as a whole, especially in the back end. We'll continue to cover it as spring practice rolls around. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.